Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Nicole, one of the geeks here at One Geeks Craft, and this week I'm repurposing an old IKEA display vase for a Valheim themed bee diorama. The astute among you that subscribe to our quaint little channel <clears throat> will notice that this is the second diorama back to back. That's because we currently live in a small apartment and I can only justify unpacking so many supplies before we get the new house, so let's craft small. I start by taking some Dollar Tree foam core and cut that into three similarly sized circles. I hot knot these three pieces together, then attach them to the base. Once the glue is dry, I carve away until I get a nice little land mass that fits perfectly under the glass. Using some pre-mixed brown Mod Podge, I seal the base foam. While the Mod Podge is still tacky, I sprinkle some Woodland Scenics Fine Turf, which is basically dirt that I paid extra for. I'm really just attempting to make a brown base layer. While that's drying, I start using some black Mod Podge and the 3D printed piece. This print file is pulled directly from the game using a software called Asset Studio. It's a tool that allows you to open up the data files as long as you have Valheim on your computer. Now this black layer I'm adding will basically be for nothing. I originally planned to paint the entire model, but then I had the idea that using really thin balsa wood would look way better. And frankly, it did. I attempted to just stick the wood to the drying Mod Podge, but that was not going to work. So those got removed and then I hot snotted them to the walls of the beehive. By the end of this diorama, the beehive print was really more of a vessel for other gubbins to be added to. Once all the wood slats were attached, I had to do some research. I asked the Google gods what color the beehives were, and they replied, Army Painter's Soft Tone Wash. Luckily, I had that on hand. I purchased a static grass applicator after watching way too many YouTubers create amazing looking grass. You can google this yourself for a better explanation, but basically it applies a static charge to the grass pieces as they pass through the mesh, so when they contact the model, the grass stands straight up. One major negative, shock damage. Now this might be user error, but it's like I ran around a carpeted house with wool socks on and grabbed a doorknob, but like 10 times. Excuse my brief outburst, but it was a bit shocking. God! F you! Uh. It's just static key. Have you read how that's supposed to work? Yeah. Turn this shit off. It works very well. After the static settled, I used some watered down PVA glue and fine flocking to fill in more of the grass. Since I use a spray bottle for my PVA glue, it gets a little messy. I would prefer pipettes, and I own pipettes, but this is currently what my craft closet looks like in this apartment, and I truly don't have the heart to try to find the pipettes. So a spray bottle is gonna have to work for now. Come look at this. This already looks like a thing. Jeez. <laughs> I, that's really nice. The bees are happy. Hey look, it's hay time. Or at least, that's what the stuff was called in the diorama section of my hobby store. Really, we're gonna use it for a thatched roof. This is where I wish I would test my ideas beforehand. In my brain, I thought it would make sense to just put Mod Podge on the roof and smoosh it all into place. But that didn't work as planned. I needed to give frequent haircuts, plenty of Mod Podge baths, and multiple douses of PVA hairspray. Slightly off camera, I mixed a secret concoction of tan and yellow paint to attempt to make a color close to the roof. 
I use that to cover the black base layer on the underside. It's not great, but it's not seen enough to really matter, so I don't really care. Finally, my favorite part, adding all the little plants. Seriously, this is my favorite part. It means that the model is almost done, and it gives it so much life. I have these small bushes that I've used in many dioramas before. I used CA glue to place them down and watered them with some accelerant. I mean, I sped up the planting process by using some accelerant. Using my teeny, teeny, tiny screwdriver, I made some small pilot holes in the foam for some of the thicker stemmed plants. I have a bag of old floral wedding decor that I keep harvesting from for any of my dioramas. These flowers were from some larger flowers that look nice in the model. I also used the leaves as bushes, and those were added using the tiny screwdriver method as well. Last but not least, we need a sign. A sign that tells us the status of our little bees. A sign that tells us that the bees are happy. A phrase that all Valheim players love to read because it's just way too cute and far too nice. I used gold vinyl for the words in the sign. I cut it in reverse because I knew I wanted it to read through the glass after attaching it to the backside of the diorama. After that was put in place using some transfer tape, I also put in some happy little bees. And then, it was done! I'd like to give a huge shout out to the When Geeks Craft Patreon community members. You guys bring Turi and I nothing but happiness with all your support. $2 a month gives you access to all of our files. $5 a month gets you that, plus your name in all of our videos. The vinyl decals from this project will be available on Patreon. So if you want those files, or any files from our previous builds, the link will be in the description. Look forward to some bigger projects soon as we move into the new house. Thanks everyone, and see you next time.